Okay, today is the election in New Hampshire, so we're not going to talk about that. That's all for tomorrow. But I want to jump in with something a little bit technical. There was an article in the Washington Post today, and I heard it on the radio, that Bernie Sanders was jumping all over Hillary Clinton for not opposing changes made in the U.S. bankruptcy code in the early 2000s. Hope I'm not boring all of you. Unfortunately, for Senator um, uh, uh, Sanders, uh, not only is his allegations incorrect, but he did nothing to help anyone. And his jive here really just kind of starts coloring his on, uh, being supposedly straight and honest about his positions. Quick background. Bankruptcy code back then said generally, we're only talking generally, that credit card companies, if you had a credit card, could be erased in, in, in bankruptcy. Chapter 13. Uh, the code got changed later around, I think it was around 2005 or thereabouts, uh, saying that you had to pay a minimum in a Chapter 13 um, plan, you had to pay a minimum back to the credit card companies. Bernie Sanders has been yelling and screaming that Hillary Clinton, when she was senator, and he was senator then also, really didn't oppose it, and it was, she was uh, owned by the Wall Street people, and that uh, she tried to uh, help it through or didn't oppose it when it first went through and didn't pass, understand it didn't pass. And he's saying that's when he, she didn't oppose it. She says she put in some uh, clause to try to help people. It really didn't do anything to help women and children. It would do nothing, really. It showed a lack of knowledge of the bankruptcy code, unfortunately. And then when this uh, change happened, I think it was about 2005, um, Bernie voted against it. She wasn't there, but she spoke against it. It was obvious it was going to pass. It was a Republican majority. The problem you've got is this. Senator Sanders, who says he is for the people, did not stand up for the people in that situation. So what he voted against the credit card issue? That proves nothing. What he should have done, if he really cared, or if he really got involved, or if he really cared about people, would have been jumping in and saying, look, if we're going to let credit card companies, unsecured creditors, which means a creditor who has no security as against a mortgage company that would have a home for, for collateral or security, if we're going to allow the credit card companies to get a, a, a guaranteed base return, then we're going to help people in homes. Because who owns credit card companies basically then, or who made mostly loans through there? Or, I mean, it's, it's really the banks that, that own Visa and MasterCard, so it's really money just moving from one hand to the other in so many different ways. And he, he should have said, hey, if we're going to allow credit card companies to get, say, a third minimum, then homeowners should have the right to modify their secured debt, the, the mortgage, once. So if they went into bankruptcy and the value of the property was less than the amount of the secured debt, the mortgagor or the debtor would have the right to go, it would have the right to modify and reduce the debt to the actual value. Now we talked about this big time in our written blog on justamericansystem.com in the mid 2000s and have been yelling and yelled and screamed about all the way up through the, the crash because it would have helped modify the problems of the crash. If we all remember the big crash, 2007, 2008, the crash was that we had all this subprime junk that went out there and then the banks had nothing underneath it and couldn't because the values were, un, were less than what the loans were for. They sold it to people and then boom, suddenly they were all underwater and then they were worthless and then the whole thing collapsed. Well, just think how easy it would have been if the bankruptcy code if Bernie Sanders had stood up, or really if any of the Democrats had stood up, if any of them, and they didn't, and I really wish Senator Warren would stand up now and do something, had stood up and said, look, we're going to modify this debt. If we modify the debt in bankruptcy, what does it do? Suddenly now, the value would be a real value because it would be determined in a court very quickly what the real value is. You'd bring an appraiser, the buyer, seller would bring an appraiser, they'd determine the value, the value would come down to that, and then that's where, that's where it would be. And then any other appraisers would be able to look at these values that are determined throughout the bankruptcy courts around the country and be able to see what values were, what true real property values were, which may have slowed down or in many ways stopped the crash because we would have had real values. If you have real values, you can make real loans. But the lenders couldn't make the loans because what the government did instead, Bernie Sanders and Senator Clinton and all the rest who just blew this, said, hey, I'd rather whack the banks 
then help the people. It's very much like President Obama's foreign policy. I'm going to treat the symptoms, which was the losing of the houses. I'm not going to give a cure or make or come up with a cure to the disease, which would be stopping all the problems overseas or trying to get involved, stop ISIS, the others, early Syria, all the rest. Here it would have been stopping all the foreclosures. It would have slowed it down big time because then everybody would have been able to come into bankruptcy and say, halt, stop. It stops it filing bankruptcy, and then they could have worked this out. Costs would have been substantially less. In bankruptcy court, all this stuff after a couple after a year or so would have been worked out and negotiated as to what values are. Calls would have been made between the lawyers that had gotten it worked out. The judges would have signed it. And then you now have an order reducing the amount owed, which would have then translated into um, into where the, I'm sorry, which would have then translated into these loans. Now the loans would have been truly worth what they were worth, and then the, the banks would have had to accept it because they were court orders. Wow. Would it have taken care of everything? No way. But it would have slowed it down. It would have slowed it down big time, and it would have made it easy for American homeowners to stay in their homes. But why make it easy? Isn't it easier to just whack the, the creditors and say to the creditors, hey, you just pay us millions and billions and billions of dollars over maybe five years because we're going to sue you. We're going to spend all that time. You're going to spend all that money. And then where's the money going? Everybody says it helped people. It really didn't help people. And harp is all jive. It put it off. All it did was push it off. Just think what changing the value to a true market value would have done. Suddenly, everybody would have been able to afford their homes, move forward, and do what they got to do. So, Bernie Sanders, we, we really respect your straight talk, but quit with the jive here. This is total jive. In this situation with the bankruptcy code, you did nothing for the American home owner. Zero. So don't come in now yelling about Wall Street when you let your chance go by to help the people. Peace.